Anchor industry has always adapted and improved in how we do our work. Over the past few years, we've increasingly been looking towards robotics and artificial intelligence to solve some of our complex problems on nuclear sites. On the 30th of March 2022, the National Nuclear Laboratory Innovation Team organised a demonstration to understand how the race logic drone tracking technology could help identify hotspots on nuclear sites. We're here to take a look at race logic's demonstration of their indoor tracking technology, which could help us conduct surveys on nuclear sites with much greater accuracy than ever before. Using drones to scan large areas with onboard sensors requires an accurate method of tracking position in real time. In places where lights of GPS are unavailable, such as within concrete buildings or basements, we struggle to know where the drone is, which means we can't map measurements to a particular location. The race logic technology is a potential solution to this problem. My name is Julian Thomas, I'm the Managing Director of Race Logic, and we're here today to demonstrate our indoor positioning system, which is a cutting edge ultra wideband radio system used to measure the position and orientation of objects within an indoor space. Traditionally, you would use GPS to measure the position and orientation of an object, but indoors, of course, you can't receive satellite signals, so you have to use a network of beacons to replicate signals such as the ultra wideband system. Our VIPS indoor positioning system is currently being used by automotive manufacturers around the world to measure the position and speed of cars when they're testing in an indoor environment. And they test in an indoor environment so they can control the weather. So they have added rain, snow, sleet, fog, and they can replicate those every day without having to wait for the weather to change. It is also used in the film and TV industry to measure the position and orientation of a camera and then that position is used to add augmented reality graphics to the live video feed. And that is what we are demonstrating today. A drone is being tracked by our system around this indoor space and we are showing the position and orientation of the drone using the Unreal graphics engine. Hi, I'm John Patrick Richardson, Robotics Development Lead for National Nuclear Laboratory. And demonstrations like the one today from Race Logic are exactly the kind of technology transfer we want to foster at NNL, and also aligns with our collaborative delivery with Centerfield Limited in their Central Robotics and AI program. The Centerfield Central Robotics and AI program is a collaborative delivery between Centerfield Limited and NNL and maintains R&D oversight in terms of delivery of technology, both for Centerfield site and the wider NDA group. Hi, my name is Paul Knight and I work in the National Nuclear Laboratory in the innovation team. And innovation is really important to us at NNL and we encourage our employees to come up with new ideas, new technologies, new solutions and new ways of working. So we're really pleased to be working with Race Logic, and we think that with NNL's expertise uh, in the nuclear sector and deploying nuclear solutions, combined with Race Logic's expertise in the indoor positioning system, we can come up with something that can add real value to the nuclear sector. Like the technical side when we're talking about the GPS and the, the ultra wide band. Learning about the signal and how it works differently to Wi Fi and GPS is pretty good. So I haven't heard of anything like that before, especially with such low power. Yeah, it was interesting to see something that you buy um, for leisure being, being used in workplace for good and how it's been applied elsewhere in different uh, industries. Yeah, be really easily like put into like in used as like the norm, do you know what I mean, how things just like change. It, it brings a lot of benefits with it, like helping a lot of people in the future. I feel, I feel like today's helped a lot of people and have more understandings on what's out there. This was a fantastic demonstration. Um, it shows how the supply chain, external supply chain, can show um, some of their sort of off-the-shelf technologies and how we can use these off-the-shelf technologies within nuclear applications. So things such as GPS denied areas, using UAVs and ROVs is an area of particular interest within the nuclear industry and something that we need to start to forge uh, ahead with and using these kind of technologies with collaborations like NNL's forged there with the companies uh, within the supply chain, uh, a fantastic niche point for them. 